let's take a look at how you can use lighting to make your barrel look even better. Head to the Create menu at the top and under Lights, you'll see a few different kinds of lights available to use. A point light will best suit our purposes, so drag one out and place it in the barrel. You should see the barrel is now a little more lit up, but we can do even more. Grab the VFX Creator Fortnite device and place it into the world. By default, this creates a neat particle effect, but let's change it to look more like a smoke effect. First, increase the sprite size and duration. Then, change the main color to something that resembles smoke. Next, lower the sprite speed, set gravity to zero, and lower the randomness. Also, change the spawn zone size to something really small so that it fits into the barrel. Finally, enable the secondary color and make it a darker version of your first color. This creates a super nice smoke effect to place into your barrel. Click on that point light again and now change the color to something that resembles a fire. Increase the intensity as needed and your barrel will be leveled up. Lights have no physical presence in the world, so you can use them to decorate your world as needed. The other kinds of lights also have their uses. Directional lights simulate a sun, spotlights shine down on a spot, rect lights are in the shape of a rectangle, and skylights are generally for lighting up the sky in a level. One thing you can do to make this barrel interactable is to create a prop, combining the light and barrel into one. This can be great if you wanted to use the barrel and light in different areas, but with different VFX. In the content browser, make a new folder called Props, then right-click the background and choose Blueprint Class. Since the barrel isn't interactable, choose the Static Mesh option. Call this Prop underscore Barrel and double-click it to open the Prop Editor. In the parent component, what you called Prop underscore Barrel, you'll see a spot for a static mesh on the right. Choose the barrel you already made and you'll see it appear, complete with the material. Then add a component and choose Point Light. Then move the point light as needed and adjust its color and intensity. Or copy the settings from the point light in your level already. If you drag out the prop barrel, it's now a complete asset that can be interacted with during a live session. Lighting is a great way to change how the world looks, but an even better way is through post-processing effects, which you'll learn about next.